In this movie I will show how to do a simple motion analysis, check for collisions and use different motors to animate mechanisms. Here you can see a simple 4 bar mechanism. First component is grounded, the other three only have mate and axial align relationships. The mechanism does not have fully defined assembly relationships, so the movement of components is available. The easiest way to analyze motion is to use the drag component command. Use the freeform move option to move the component in any direction, linear or rotational. Grab the component and move the mouse. To move the mechanism to its initial position, click the reset button. If you just want to rotate the component, click the rotate icon. To move another component, click the select part icon and then select the component you want to move. Click on the axis of rotation, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse. The selected component rotates around the selected axis. Now let's place the selected mechanism in a higher assembly. You can see that no mechanism component can be selected using the drag component command. This is because the mechanism is positioned as a rigid assembly. To enable movement, the assembly must be changed to an adjustable assembly. You can now select components using the drag component command. But when moving a component, the entire assembly moves back and forth. This is because the datum plane of the mechanism assembly was used to position the assembly. The relationships to the subassembly are not preserved when the assembly is changed to adjustable, so unexpected movement occurs. Let's return to the mechanism assembly. In the solid edge options, there is a place this assembly as adjustable when it is placed into another assembly option. Turn this option on if the current assembly is always placed as adjustable into higher assemblies. When this assembly is placed into another assembly with this settings turned on, the user is somehow forced to use the datum planes from the components to place the assembly correctly. You could do the same without this option selected, but with a few more clicks. Drag component now simulates motion as expected. Now let's complete the assembly.
You can see, that with a simple motion analysis, one component can pass through another. Now we will use another type of motion analysis, where we will check for collisions. We can use the sound warning and stop movement options, when collision occurs. You can see, that with this analysis, a component can no longer move through another component. To create the animation, we will place three motors on this assembly, two rotational motors and one linear motor. When defining a motor, direction and speed can be defined. Motor movement may also be limited. The simulate motor command can now simulate a mechanism using these motors. We just need to fix the timeline, so that the motors start at the correct timestamp. Animation can be saved as a movie in WMV or AVI format. It can also be saved as a BIP format and used in a key shot to create a more photorealistic animation. If you stayed with me until the end, please subscribe, like, or leave a comment and, have a nice day.